We just turned left up about five trees too soon. See, now you can see fuzzballs. You couldn't see them before. Welcome to the bog. Deep in a bog in Aiken County, Minnesota. Shooting a great gray owl nest, my first ever. This is a nest that my friend Kim Risen found. Uh, just a fantastic find. Gotta keep an eye up there on the nest though because uh, I don't wanna miss mom or dad coming in. I can hear mom or dad off in the distance going whoop, whoop. That's, uh, they're keeping contact with the young ones, but I hope they're hunting too. Oh. Well, what do you do when you're in a nest 24 hours a day? Well, maybe you scratch a little bit. That feels good. Or maybe you try and cough up a pellet. Not so easy when you're a little one. Or watch a, a surfed fly land. Or when it gets very hot, you do a little gular flapping, try and cool yourself down. Plenty to do. And you better stretch, because you gotta get out of that nest pretty soon. Or you just kinda nuzzle up to your brother or sister. And keep flapping those wings, because you're gonna fly soon. And on my last visit, guess what? The young were out of the nest. One was perched on this rotten stump, just giving me the eye. We relaxed after about 15, 20 minutes. And I found his sibling in a nice patch of moss about 20 yards away, clacking his bill. He's a little afraid. But then when he saw mom coming in, he started screeching, begging for food. I want a bowl, I want a bowl. That juicy bowl.
Here are some of my favorite images from the four days I had with the owlets. These two little guys are in the nest, but peeking around the trunk of the big tamarack they were nesting in. And here I used a really wide angle lens, the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter to get a unique perspective. And I kind of angled it up to make the birds look bigger, get that blue sky in the background. I also used full flash with the, the Canon flash right on the hot shoe. And you can see we had a supervisor on set. There's mom in the lower left hand corner, just making sure her babies are okay. And once she did, she just flew off and continued hunting. Now here's a more traditional 400 millimeter straight on eye level shot. Got that nice green out of focus background. I wish I would have had a flash with a better beamer on it because the green underneath that green canopy, everything had a little bit of a greenish tinge and the flash would have really helped neutralize that. And here's his sibling. I got close with the 10 to 20 millimeter. I'm probably less than a foot away. Used full flash, didn't phase him.